Hey everyone, and welcome back to yet another Backrooms level explanation on the channel. In this video, I want to go over a level that you all have requested for several months, to say the least, and I mean months, which is, of course, level 94. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around for the explanation. If it doesn't, well, then your parents don't love you. Just kidding. Or am I? Well, let's get into it, shall we? But first, sub to Toogly, my second channel, because it's almost 10k subs, so why not? Backrooms level 94, aka level motion, is classified as a survival difficulty of 3 and is overall pretty unsafe in general. It takes the appearance of a couple of different things ranging from a big town to a stone castle to green rolling hills and all of the level is covered in a retro grainy type effect. Kind of like an old movie or a video game. And the entire level is almost like Dreamcore in a way. I know some of y'all like that. The part of the level where the main town is, is pretty safe, especially during the daytime, since there aren't any entities here, but at nighttime, it can get pretty dicey. In the very center of this town, in the main area, there's actually a fountain that's flowing with almond water, which is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Wanderers have described the feeling of this town as kind of a 1930s stop-motion background, which is pretty campy and cool, to say the least. On the outskirts of the town, there are small houses with furniture and other normal house stuff. There's also retro cars and vans from the 1930s time period, and there's even huge milk vans full of almond milk for the lactose intolerant crowd among us. Oh, you said among us, funny funny. Scattered around the town's roads, there are these things that look like siren poles, but they're actually speakers, and they play really old campy cartoon music sometimes. Specifically, the sirens only play the music during the safe times, which is daytime, on the level. And then the music will play until nighttime, when it gets really unsafe and unstable, and lots of entities start to come out. But I'm going to explain those entities during the entity explanation section of the video. The grassy hills of the level are actually infinite, and they just keep repeating themselves over and over again. But sometimes there will be like a random car parked on the side of the road, or you might run into a water tower that's just there. And sometimes on the top of the hills themselves are just random pieces of furniture, like chairs or tables, just sitting there. Which is pretty unsettling, I gotta be honest with you. But it's not as unsettling as the transparent hills that are there. Hills that you can literally see through that have castles sitting on top of them. That's terrifying. I mean, that'd be pretty trippy. Like, just imagine walking up to an invisible hill that you can see through and seeing a whole castle just on top. I'm not even sure how, like, my brain would process that, but whatever. You can actually walk up the Invisa Hill, get it? Invisible Hill, and get to the castle. But the castle area specifically is known for draining sanity, so be sure to carry almond water with you so you don't go off the deep end. Inside of the castle, you'll notice that there is a huge funhouse area. In fact, the entire castle itself is a funhouse, playhouse, whatever you want to call it. It's full of play sets, slides, ballrooms, ball pits, and you know, the other typical funhouse stuff. If you wander through this castle enough, you'll actually run into a huge doorway that opens into the throne room where, of course, the entity called the Animated King lives. Now, you'll be tricked into a false sense of security by the Animated King because he seems nice and stuff at first, but he'll actually try to control you instead of helping you. So watch out for that. The Animated King will put you through a test before he turns you into an animation entity, which I'll get into what an animation is in a second. But if you pass this test, you might be sent out of the level, and if you fail, well, you're probably not going to be leaving anytime soon. Now let's get into some creatures, shall we? So there are actually a lot of entities and creatures here, and they're very dangerous, especially in nighttime. As per usual, you got your regular entities like Smilers, Skin Stealers, Hounds, and Male Death Moths, and even Death Rats, which are slightly less common, but still pretty common. But the level exclusive entity, like I said, is called an animation. These things look like stop-motion characters, but they're very hostile because they attack anything that isn't animated, which is pretty creepy, not gonna lie. And they attack victims based off of what they look like themselves. So like if an animation entity is a claymation character, then it will try to drown its victim in clay, what? Or if the animation entity is like wood or something like that, 
then it will try to hit its victim with blunt force, and so on and so forth. You get the point. They aren't very smart though, so you can pretty much avoid them with ease. Just make sure you don't get caught by them, or, you know, you'll drown in clay, or be beat over the head by a bat. The other level exclusive entity is called the Robomen, which are just retro robot toys from the early 1900s that live inside the castle, and they kind of act like the guards of the castle, and they're really hostile, and will instantly attack you if they see you. So just avoid the large walking robots. To enter this weird place, you have to successfully escape the end level and then go to the hub level right after. When you're there, a rectangle hole will just manifest itself in the ground inside of the hub and it'll slowly start to close over time. And if you want to exit, you can either complete the Animated King's trial and pass it by conquering your fears in animated form, or you can get teleported into level 7, 9, or 53 by randomly going into one of the houses on the hills in the level. So to summarize, this pretty interesting level, pretty cool level as well, it's pretty much just a dream core world filled with weird animated glitchy type things that kind of makes you feel peaceful and at home until you get to the literal invisible hill with a castle on it where you'll be forced to watch your biggest fears unfold in animation. If you pass, then you can leave, and if you don't, then you're condemned to stay here forever as an animation entity. Pretty neat! And yeah, that is it for the Backrooms Level 94 Explain. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you're a fan of Dreamcore, like I said, then I'm pretty sure you'll like it. And even if you don't like Dreamcore, it's still a pretty decent level. Thanks to everyone for supporting me. Comment Ilgurb if you're still watching. That's just brutally spelled backwards. But if you're still watching, you need to comment that. You're a real one. And I'm going to slap a heart on your comment. The last video on the channel is actually blowing up and is actually crushing every view record on the channel. It's got like 200,000 views in one day, which is just, thank you so much. Just, that's insane. Thank you so much for that. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for supporting me extra as always. And thank you to everyone for everything you do for me. I'm actually about to upload a story time video with face cam over on the second channel, Tugly. Uh, get ready for that. It's the first in a long series of story time videos I'm going to do about a huge trip that I took out west. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy that. It's got like, we got like almost 10k subs over there. It's going to be lit. And speaking of subs, we're on the road to 200k here. I mean, we're really close too. We're only like 20k, 30k away. Like, wow, that's insane. Road to 200k is on. Let's get it. Thank you all for watching and supporting me. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.